Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards, this is Jasmine. This video is going to be your love forecast for um, August 2024. That's what I'm going to call it, your love forecast. Now I'm going to go by all four elements. So this one is going to be just water signs, Pisces, and Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio water signs. I'm going to make individual videos for each one. All right, so this one is water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Love forecast for August 2024. And look what fell out already. That looks great. Love forecast for August 2024. Water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now, don't forget this channel is branded. You do not have permission to copy it for any reason. Hit that notification bell. So you'll be reminded when I upload another video. Don't forget about my cup. The link is in the description box down below. This will help you manifest good luck and love, money, and health. I can give you the directions on it when you purchase it. And um, if you want a reading, I'm having a $10 special for the rest of July. It's three cards for $10. Text me and I'll get back at you. The number's down in the screen box down below. Uh, yeah. So be kind in the comments and no trolls here, all right? Uh, this is the cup I'm drinking out of today. I just have water. My little straws sink sinking there. And this is the magician. I don't know if you can see it here, but I love this cup. So, all right. So let's keep going. Love forecast for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Love forecast for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Show me what you see for... I'm back this up a little bit. Love forecast for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Pulling that one. I do work directly with Spirit. Spirit pulls the cards, tell me which cards to pull. And I use my own psychic abilities that they have given me since birth to do this reading pull the cards I also study astrology so you'll hear me talk about the planets a lot all right water signs Pisces Kansas Scorpio love forecast for August 2024 all right so let's get going with the reading first we have the ten of cups now this is you water signs Pisces Kansas Scorpio you could be celebrating a marriage this is the marriage card children Happy life. What more could you ask for? The people are dancing. All these cups represent good things in your life like health, money, love, school, um, so on and so forth. Relatives, family. Um, so you have all that in your rainbow. Good luck here. You could be getting married to another Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or this means you that you're getting married to Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I see in the month of August that depression, fear, and sadness is going to leave you. And the upright, this represents that you're sad, depressed, feeling imprisoned, or someone could have went to prison. Swords always mean jail time, imprisonment, or, you know, down in the dark, sadness. There's a dark there crying. But it's in the reverse, so it means that that's lifting from you. It's going away. You're reversing it. All right? So you'll be a lot better off in August. I am seeing a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again coming at you. This one's a little bit younger than you. He's a Christian. He has a sign of Christianity here. Um, he has suffered turbulent times, but he's able to withstand them. Look at what he's standing on. He's standing on the color yellow. The yellow always represents brand new things coming in. He's very passionate and in deep thought about you. So this is a good thing. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming in to offer love or vice versa. I am seeing a king that's in the reverse. This was an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that had once come into your life, but now they're in the reverse. So I see him leaving out. So if you were involved with someone like that, I'm seeing them leaving out in the month of August. So it's probably not a bad thing that you're closing one because another one is coming in, all right? Or the relationship could just be in stagnation as well. So, yeah. So I am seeing some of you. Now, remember, y'all, this is general. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. You can text me for a personal reading, and I'll get back at you. That way you'll have something more personal that goes with you, all right? Excuse me. It's late and I'm getting tired. I've been doing readings all day. All right. So this is the Queen of Cups. She sits on her throne alone. She's contemplating, thinking about what's next. She's gotten turbulent times here. 
but she's still able to withstand everything. So she's there's yellow underneath her, but what's underneath her feet? There's a, there's also some. Her feet aren't firmly planted on the ground, uh, where the yellow sh where the yellow is where her sh feet should be. Why? Because she's having emotional problems. She's keeping all her emotions in this cup. If you notice, the cup is closed. It's not open. So that represents someone that's deep in mind. See the blues here, deep thought, deep in the mind. So some of you are going to be like that. You're going to be thinking, wondering, what should I do? Where should I go? Should I accept this offer? Should I not? Um, what's my next step? I am seeing children around you here. Maybe having some trouble with some with your children or contemplating on what you're going to do with your children. There's two, There's three children here, if you notice. One, two, three. All right, so some of you might be having trouble with that, and you're thinking about that. It's in your mind. It's in your thoughts, like, what should I do with my children next? Or, you know, just lots of worry here. But I'm here to tell you that you don't have to worry, all right, because things will change. Now, I am seeing the Ace of Pentacles. It's in the reverse, so that means it's in stagnation. But it doesn't mean it's not going to flip back, all right, because this is a court card. In the upright, this means the hand of the universe is coming in with money. Pentacles only mean money, all right? Even if in the, in the love reading, it means money. Someone is coming in to help you or was coming in or is coming in or is stagnant because it's in the reverse. But coming in to help you with this money here, big bonus, big check, or big something. Maybe you were waiting on it, but you haven't heard. That's why it's in the reverse because it's stagnant. In the month of August, things will be stagnant due to Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde starts on August 4th all the way to the end of the month, and it tends to slow things down, relationships, jobs, um, you name it, it slows it down, all right, so due to uh, Mercury retrograde, I'm seeing this offer here being stagnant, meaning standing still, doesn't mean it's not coming, it's still coming, it's just standing still, it's slow, it, it's slow moving because um, um, of the planets, now, once that planet goes direct, then everything will flip back around and start moving forward again. But you just got to give it a chance to get there. So if you got something that's stagnant, actually don't do nothing. Let that energy pass. Once the energy passes of Mercury retrograde, then you'll be back in the upright and things will start flowing again. Uh, if you have not seen my video of Mercury retrograde, it's on my page at the very top. Um, you will benefit from watching that, all right? <clears throat> it tells you all about Mercury retrograde, what that planet does when it comes in, how it affects us. All the planets affect us some kind of way. That's, you know, we are ruled by the planets. So, and don't you know that every planet rules a body part as well? So whatever body part you're having trouble with, it's that that's the planet you were born under. Like me, the moon rules the knees. I've always had knee problems because the moon rules the knees. So um, planets do play a, a vital role in the way things go in our lives. So it's good to read astrology. If you haven't read... Um, any astrology, I would suggest you go to Astrology Zone and look up Susan Miller. She is the best astrologist out there. You would love her her astrology readings. All right. So, yeah. So, anyway, um, things do look good in the love department for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. This is for you. I'm going to do four videos here. This is the first one. And then the next one will be for Earth Signs. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. This is Jasmine for Magic Tarot Cards. Don't forget to like and subscribe.